Hello everybody. So uh, we're making another video uh, from our Saginaw Street location, especially for our Saginaw Street patients who are familiar with the surroundings. We want to tell you about all the stuff that we're doing to make sure that everybody's safe, whether it's uh, the patients, of course, whether it's our team. Uh, we are going to start seeing patients on the 1st of uh, June, taking care of all your dental needs, and we can't wait to see you again. So um, uh, normally I'll be wearing a mask. Okay, but at this time, so that you can understand me, I'm not wearing this mask, but rest assured, I'm at least six feet away from uh, Christine, who's taken the video, uh, as well as anybody who's gonna appear in the video. So, um, uh, I'll start with, the, with the, uh, the first thing that you, you will encounter that might be a little different than uh, before the coronavirus crisis. Uh, when uh, somebody calls you to set up an appointment or to confirm an appointment, uh, they will be asking you three questions. And those are whether you've been traveling within the last 14 days, whether you um, uh, have a high temperature, or whether you have any symptoms that may feel or look like a cold or, or the flu. If you do, then we probably would ask you to reschedule for about 14 days later. If not, then you're more than welcome to come in. Now, once you come in, you'll see that our uh, uh, reception area is different than it used to be in the past. We moved all of the chairs apart so that when somebody is sitting here, they are at least six feet away from anybody else. But in addition to that, uh, we will limit the number of people that will sit in our reception area to a maximum of four. If we need any more, we will be asking people to actually uh, wait in their car, and once we're ready for them, we'll just call them, they come in, and we take care of their, um, whatever we need to take care of. So, uh, so that's one, one change. The second thing I wanna mention is you'll see that everything that is uh, in the reception area usually is not here anymore. No magazines, no books, uh, no brochures, and so on. We're trying to cut down on any possibility of anybody touching anything that could actually cross-contaminate. Uh, so that's another change. And one last thing I wanna mention about the reception area. Uh, the receptionist or somebody from the front area of the office will be cleaning all of the surfaces, disinfecting all of the surfaces every hour on the hour at a minimum. So we, we use Clorox, uh, we use Lysol, we'll be wiping uh, the chair uh, tops, we'll be uh, the tabletops, any countertops, anything that a patient could touch or anybody could touch will be wiped uh, with disinfectants on a very regular basis. Now, uh, in uh, one last thing, we, ins we installed a, uh, a cover, basically a barrier, that separates the patient from uh, the anybody behind the desk. And the reason we did that, of course, is for an added uh, layer of protection. Uh, we don't like it, but it is what it is these days, and we have to actually do something like that. So now, once you come in, uh, the, one of the first things that will happen is the receptionist will take your temperature and make sure that your temperature is within normal limits, that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not a high temperature. And if it is, we'll probably test it again in a couple of minutes, uh, between two to five minutes. And if it's still high, we would ask you to reschedule and we probably would instruct you to call your physician and get a little bit of guidance how to go forward. If not, then you're more than welcome and we can go ahead and get started with your visit. I asked some of my staff members to demonstrate a little bit some of the stuff that I'm saying. So I'm going to call Alyssa to come in. She's going to act as a patient. And Desiree uh, and Nicole are, are uh, the people that are in the front desk area. I'm going to have Desiree actually take uh, the temperature and lead Alyssa to the, uh, the treatment room. So Alyssa, come on in. So again, I'm about six feet uh, away from uh, everybody. Uh, Desiree is taking temperature for Alyssa. This is, uh, this is what you'll be encountering. Uh, she, it takes about uh, 30 seconds to do that. She gets the temperature and then she will log that temperature into Alyssa's chart uh, to make sure uh, that that is actually recorded. Once that happens, she will actually take Alyssa to the back area. So go ahead. As you see, she will guide uh, Alyssa into a treatment room. Uh, 
the person that would be in the treatment room would be uh, the uh, dental assistant as well as probably one of the dentists. And as you can see, um, 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 uh, Danny, our dental assistant, is wearing some of that PPE. PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. Uh, that is uh, different than, to what, than what you're used to in the past seeing in a dental office. So, so I'll demonstrate what uh, Danny's wearing. She's wearing ha uh, hair coverage, head cover. Uh, she's wearing a face shield. She's wearing glasses that have side shields to them. She's wearing two masks. Uh, uh, an N95 mask, everybody's heard of those, those are very protective, as well as a mask on top of it. She's wearing gloves, of course, she's wearing um, the uh, gown, um, a disposable gown, as well as foot coverage. All of that ensures that uh, Danny is protected, uh, she has protected all the patients, and uh, th there's a, a virtually uh, no chance of any kind of contamination or cross-contamination. Now, in addition to that, um, I just want to show you uh, the instruments and uh, some of the uh, materials that we use. So all instruments are sterilized, of course, no different than any time in the past. They are put in a cassette or a pouch. Uh, that cassette is not opened until we're ready to actually work on the patient. In addition to that, we use anything that is disposable uh, so that we don't have to um, sterilize it. We basically just toss it and it's never used on another patient. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. N none of that, none of the sterilization uh, procedures are any different than any uh, than any other time. Now, uh, one different thing that will happen in the room is you probably uh, have everything that needs to be done done in the treatment room. What I mean by that is, of course, your dental treatment, but in addition to that, you will have. Um, uh, your next appointment set up in the room as well as any financial transaction set up in the same room. We are set up to do that. We have computers in all the rooms, so we're able to do that. One thing I want to show you, you will notice that the treatment rooms basically have virtually, other than the computer uh, and some sterilization, some sterilization stuff, they have nothing uh, on any of the surfaces, again, to cut down any chances of anything getting contaminated. Now, once uh, the uh, treatment is finished and once El uh, Alyssa is ready to be dismissed, the dental assistant will take her to the back door. So that's a little different than what we've done in the past. So go ahead. So again, as you see, uh, while uh, the dental assistant is still uh, donning her uh, um, PPE, she will go ahead and take the patient out from the back door and then the patient is dismissed. So, so the reason we do that is to cut down on any chance of anybody uh, uh, walking by another patient or in the front area. We're just lowering the, the uh, possibility of any cross, uh, uh, cross uh, interaction as well as really acting upon the recommendations for social distancing. So, we're doing everything that we can to follow CDC guidelines, American Dental Association guidelines. We want to make sure that you're protected. We want to make sure that our staff is protected. We're ready to see you guys on June 1st. So, looking forward to that, and we'll see you very soon. Take care.